Have you ever tried to mate a fastener to a hole on a curved surface? You may have seen some unexpected results. Why is this happening and how can we fix it? In order to understand the issue more clearly, let's take a look at an extreme example. Here I have a sheet metal part with a hole cut perpendicularly to the face. When I apply a bend across that hole, you'll notice that the circular edges are now elliptical. This is because the material towards the inside of the bend is in compression and the outside of the bend is in tension. Let's take a look at my cover plate example. Although the bend radius is much greater, the same principles apply. In this case, we'll have to create some reference geometry in order to mate our fastener. We'll start by using the Filled Surface tool, which is located on the Surfaces tab of our Command Manager. Once in that tool, we can select the elliptical edge, and we'll want to set our curvature to Curvature Continuous. We now have a surface that fills the elliptical shaped hole. Going to our Reference Geometry dropdown, we can choose Point. This feature allows us to place a point directly in the center of the face. Finally, we'll go back to the Reference Geometry dropdown and choose Axis. We'll want to use the point and the face we just created as a reference for the axis. If you want to resize the axis, you can click and drag on the drag handles. The face can now be hidden or deleted using the Delete Bodies command. Now that we have an axis going through the center of the hole, we can mate the fastener without issue.